Hi, I'm uh, Rob Self Engineer with Measurement Computing. Today we're going to be showing you that DAC is as easy as throwing a baseball. Uh, we've got a backyard set up here with a kind of homemade mechanical radar gun that we'll be using to test the speed of a uh, little pitcher throwing some pitches at me. For our data acquisition setup, we have our computer running a Daisy Lab application. Uh, the Daisy Lab is acquiring the data from an analog input unit as well as temperature. Um, the analog input unit, we actually just have a simple contact closure on off connected to it. And I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is when the uh, ball is being thrown, I'm going to press that down and when I catch it, I'm going to let go of it. Uh, we're going to be sampling every millisecond so I'll be able to, uh, to know using the Daisy Lab how many seconds that ball was in the air. Uh, we also have a wireless 8-channel thermocouple transmitter with an uh, infrared thermocouple powered by a USB battery pack, 5 volts. And then over here, this will be receiving the data from the wireless transmitter itself. Our Daisy Lab application simply consists of five modules. I have one module that's going to be used to read the wireless thermocouple transmitter. So we have the infrared thermocouple here for reading ball temperature and the CJC value for reading the air temperature. Then I have another analog input module that's used to read the analog input from our 1208FS sampling at 1000 Hz or every millisecond for 3000 samples or 3 seconds. And then taking that value, putting it through a pulse analysis module to determine the length of time in seconds that it's been high. And then taking that value in seconds and taking a constant of 20.46 20 and dividing it by the number of seconds, which gives us the value in miles per hour. Then displaying all three values on our digital meter. So when I simply click the contact closure, I'm able to determine speed and also display the ball in air temperature. Okay, so we're all set to start taking some measurements here. We got our air temperature and ball temperature there displayed. And I'll go ahead and grab the uh, contact closure and start doing some catching. Nice pitch. 28. Wow, 28. What's the temperature of that ball, the middle one? 63.6. Nice. Thirty point eight. Thirty three point six. Nice. Get the speed on there. Thirty point six seven. How about a little more heat? Get some heat on this. Come on, what's going on? I want to take it aside. Come on. All right, let's see that heat there. Come on. Ah. What's the temperature? Oh, Come on, Todd says 184.19. Ow! <laughs> Come on, Todd. All right, let's put you right in there, right in the middle. Come on. Yeah, all right. What? Come on, come on. Leave me alone. Ow! <laughs> so, um, just going to have him throw against the net now. Okay, buddy. Throw it in there. Get some heat. Twenty-eight point two six. Pretty good. Twenty-seven point four six. Forty-two. All right. Good. So hopefully we're able to demonstrate here that 
doing the jack is as easy as throwing a baseball, uh, a little more painful, but certainly as easy as doing.